when you first receive your alien this will be the screen it boots to in 480i mode here's your basic setup and configuration press the menu key this would be the your main operating menu you want to go to system and we'll just walk through all the settings quick language settings obvious it's going to come preset as English for the United States and Canada time setting this is very important so that your satellite time appears right and if you don't have the set right you'll get all sorts of errors in the internet browser for invalid certificates <laughs> leave auto update to off you put in your date right here year 02 is the month 12 is the day set your time in military format this is 5.53 in the morning leave summertime off sleep time that's for setting sleep timers parental control pretty obvious with uh, North American True FTA uh, you're not going to get the the censorships and the V-chip and whatever stuff. Audio video output. Leave that on RGB. Screen ratio comes preset to auto. Uh, if you're using an old analog you can set 4.3 or if you want to overwrite it for a widescreen like this Put it on 16.9. Auto works good. Your uh, conversion settings for stuff that isn't in the native format. Letterbox is fine for uh, most big TVs. TV standard. 576 is a PAL mode. Don't use it. You have auto, 1080i, 1080p, 720. 1080p looks best in upconverts for most 1080p TVs. Just be warned ahead of time. Some uh, feeds like NBC S2 on AMC1 will have a little bit of a problem with the 1080p. If you run into that, set it to auto or to 1080i. Dolby Digital HDMI. It says off. It's actually on. This is your equivalent setting to uh, uh, basically what it does is if you have it off the volume on the, the alien remote will control volume if you turn it on it'll be a fixed output volume like if you were uh, running through a, a stereo system or whatever um, PDIF you can normally leave on just on auto if you're having uh, difficulty with uh, the output for that switch it to PCM Browser screen size. Uh, normally you shouldn't have to tamper with this, but if the browser's cut off on your TV and it's not your TV settings, you can adjust the, the browser screen size right there so it fits better. You want to save your changes. Factory default, this is another important one. If you load from factory default, it will restore your alien to exactly how you received it from us. If you do the factory reset, it'll end up wiping our image, and you'll end up with a European image, and you'll probably start in PAL mode, so I wouldn't touch that. Save as factory default. You can do this if you put in another virgin North American image, and you're happy with it, and you're sure there's no bugs, you can save it as default. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this because leaving our image as default gives you uh, a start point. If you ever need to uh, troubleshoot with us, we can go back to that and we have a common frame of reference. Delete all channel, that's obvious. It will delete all your satellite channels that you've, you've scanned in. Boot to E2, this will uh, switch to the dual boot Enigma 2 system. Don't use this until you have installed an Enigma 2 image. Uh, 
uh, miscellaneous, banner display time, uh, five seconds when the little information bar appears. Uh, you can switch this to however you like. Transparency, uh, standby mode, boots faster this way. Uh, leave that in true, or I would recommend that. Front panel display, they come from us where they'll show you the time instead of the channel. You can switch that to channel number if you'd like. HBB TV is something used in Europe over the internet for certain services and channels. We don't have it here. You might as well leave it off. It won't do anything either way. <clears throat> Conditional access we don't have to worry about. System information tells you what you have on there. The last update day will not be when you last flashed a file to it. That'll be the the date of the the firmware release. <clears throat> hard drive settings. Uh, format is obviously for formatting hard drive. USB speed test. This will go through and test your uh, your hard drive and figure out about what speed you should be able to read and write at. This is just a flash drive, so it's not all that great. Record settings. Here's your record path here. You can change this. If I had uh, network drive set up, this is the flash drive hooked up. I can choose any of these. That'll be the default PVR folder. <clears throat> That's your default record duration. If you just push the record key on the fly, Time shift, enable, disable, time shift folder, and the default amount of time that you want to go back for time shifting can all be set here. <clears throat> YouTube record settings. Nice thing about Alien, if you're watching something on the YouTube player, you push one button and you can rip slash record the entire video in QuickTime format, I believe, right to your hard drive or network drive. This is where you tell it where you want those to uh, be stored. <clears throat> Net settings. Something you want to do right away too. IP config would be for setting up your Ethernet or your wireless. Tell it wireless. Press the red key to search for wireless networks. It finds my network. It will automatically detect the security setup and configuration. Uh, password, you'll have to enter for yours. Mine's already in here. Press the red key for connect. That's it. We're up and going on wireless network. For wired, just hit the arrow key. There's nothing hooked up to the wired here, but it will do the same thing and automatically try to configure it for you. FTP password, this is by default. Uh, username's root, password is root. You can change this if you want. Network hard disk. Designated a, a letter to work with the alien. There's two types. One is used for for a, a Windows 7 type system. The other one is used for a XP type system where uh, you're not necessarily using a password. You put the name of the, the share folder in here. You tell it the IP of the computer with the hard drive. Now your share folder needs, uh, let's say you're going to share drive D on your server and the share name's video. You want to tell it video right here. Here you would put uh, 
like on a Windows 7 system, you want to set up a, an account on the computer uh, that's like alien and then uh, a simple password, you know, 0000 that you can put in. Once you put all this in, switch to active. It will take quite a while to do its handshake and uh, quote unquote learn the location. Once it does, it will hook up instantly from now on to your network drive.